So, Mia, let's start with reaction from both accused when they heard how long they'll be spending in bars. Well, Sean, as you mentioned, baby Daniel's mother and her former boyfriend were really slapped with a hefty sentence today. And you can see, um, I saw in court that they really didn't expect it either. Um, after the sentence was handed down, the, both of them just stayed in front of them for a while. And then there was a little altercation between him and members of um, Women and Men Against Child Abuse. So they were basically telling him what he did was despicable, and then he said he didn't do it. So what we heard again today, even in the pre sentence sentencing arguments is they maintain with the innocence and he still says he didn't do it it was an accident so it was dramatic scenes inside court and even outside court some of his family members they were very angry and they tore down banners um, that depicted his face and her face on there they tore it down so yeah a very dramatic day to end this tragic case. So they flatly deny that they're responsible for baby Daniel's death, yet he had those burn wounds, yet his chest sustained injuries, his arms as well. Just remind us of the torture at their hands because they were found guilty ultimately, so they have been convicted of this. Exactly. So the mother's former boyfriend, he has been convicted of murder and child abuse and the mother of child neglect. So basically, um, yeah, just what this child endured, we went through it in court again today. Um, Judge Colin Mashise basically described it as sadistic torture rather than just abuse. Um, as you mentioned, 60% burns over his little body. Body, um, broken bones, um, bruises, head wounds. So they, they suspect this went on for, a, for months. Um, the, his mother and started the relationship with this man when he was about 18 months old. And they believe that's where it started. Just a little bit of context. Um, it came out in court during this past week. It, it bas basically had to do with potty training. Apparently, um, yeah, w when they were potty training in, uh, they, when there was accidents, then this is where most of the tortures came, almost as a, a punishment to him and just what this little boy had to go through up until his death was really sadistic torture mm -hmm. as Judge Mashid said. Yeah, it makes you sick to the stomach uh, just hearing that. Uh, let's remind people about uh, their arguments as to why they shouldn't spend a long time behind bars. Of course I know they denied it but they still had to do arguments for sentencing as well. So the man basically said, he said um, he's guilty of neglect. Um, he, he, of course, says baby Daniel fell into a bathtub filled with warm water. So he basically said he'll, um, he has remorse for the neglect, but he did not kill this baby. And the mother said um, she knows now, what you know now, she could have done more to protect her son, but she was also abused by this man sexually, um, emotionally, um, physically. So she, that is why she said, why she thought she was going to get a lesser sentence and of course um, the abuse that she endured in this relationship but also growing up. So what about baby Daniel's relatives, extended relatives? Are they in court? How do they respond to this? So Shahan, as you've um, seen, we're not allowed to show any of the relatives or um, the two accused or uh, photos of baby Daniel. That's because, because this couple has six other children between the two of them. So the family members were in court today, very emotional, her parents and his parents. Um, but we can't say too much about them. We, we can't show them even because anything that can identify the other six children just to uh, prevent secondary trauma, what they've been going through, um, yeah, just to try and prevent that. So yeah, no identities. That's why we also can't show them. I know a lot of viewers want to see their face as these two, but yeah, we, we're not allowed to show them. All right, thanks so much for that. Appreciate it, Mia Spiss.